Hey love and welcome back to the best rental friendly channel on YouTube. I am going to tell you about the best 10 rental friendly apartment hacks and upgrades. I have done all of these and I thought it would be really fun to put them in one video. So jumping right in at number one. If you have an apartment with tile floors and the grout lines look a little dusty, you can clean your tile floors with the works from the Dollar Tree. It is a toilet bowl cleaner, yes, I understand, but all you need to do is use it once. This cleaner completely transformed my grout lines. I showed you how it made the biggest difference and to this day, my grout lines are white. They were black when I moved in, they are still white. So the number one concern that a lot of people had was that the works would mess up the grout lines and cause cracks. That does not happen. You don't even need to use it more than once. The stuff is very powerful and it lifts the dirt up. And then after that, you don't have to use it again if you clean your floors properly. So I stand by the works for very nasty, grout lines in apartments. So if you get an apartment that is not considered luxury and you wanna fix the dirt issue, use the works, you will not be disappointed, okay? Use fresh white paint in your apartment. I have done this in every single room of my apartment. When I moved in, they had this really ugly color on the walls. It was like an egg shell yellow or something like that. I can't, even, I can't even explain it, but it was just not the color for me. And simply by visiting Home Depot, getting some standard paint, I always recommend using satin. It is a is a better feel in the space. It's easy to clean and not to mention, you don't have to repaint once you leave if you paint it white because that's what they want you to use if you paint a different color. So just by painting it a nice fresh white, it's gonna look clean, it's gonna feel bigger. And if you're a content creator, your pitch is gonna be all cute, but that is a major upgrade in any apartment. Paint it white, make it bright, be done. Add extra mirrors in your bathroom, okay? The bathroom is meant for you to see what's going on before you step out of there into the world. So I purchased a $12.99 Ikea mirror and I installed it above the toilet, yes. Most people put some type of shelf or picture or something, I put a mirror up there because one, it made the bathroom feel bigger and Bay and I do not have to fight over the little small mirror that we have over the sink and it just gives off a lot of light. It makes the bathroom feel complete. And that is a trick that a lot of homeowners use. When they have a really small bathroom, they use a really large mirror because it makes the room feel bigger because of the reflection, the light, all of that good stuff. So if you have a small bathroom, consider adding more mirrors with your fine self. The next upgrade is to add lighting in your shower, baby. This is so luxurious and such a major upgrade. I can't, I can't even, I can't even. This is one of my favorite, favorite upgrades that I did. And all you have to do is purchase this Energizer outdoor light. So you know it works with moisture because it's meant for outdoors. And I use nano tape and I stuck it on the ceiling inside of the bathtub shower combo and you're able to turn it on completely or you can set it on uh, auto mode so that when you walk into the bathroom, it automatically comes on. But it is so luxurious for a lot of reasons. It not only makes your bathroom balanced when it comes to light because now you have light over your sink, but you also have light in your tub, but it also makes your tiles look very nice and fresh because the light you know, gives it a different look. It is just the biggest upgrade. And I'm gonna tell you, Bay was even kind of impressed with the light in the shower and he could give a dang about interior design. He, he really don't care, but he was really, really impressed. So if you wanna update your space, the light is only like 
12 or 13 dollars plus the batteries and it just makes a big difference not to mention when you go to a lot of five-star hotels they have very nice lighting in their shower okay so now you don't have to go and spend 500 dollars to have a nice bathroom experience you can create your own add lighting under and inside of your cabinet why do you do this because again when things are dark they just don't look appealing you can't see very well and it just feels kind of boring but when you add light and you organize a space even like a cabinet like I did in my bathroom and underneath my kitchen sink and you make it pretty it becomes a moment and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it the contact paper that I used in my bathroom as well as in the kitchen came from Target Target, if y'all know what that means, because somebody corrected me before. Target means Target. Okay, that's a little vocabulary lesson right there. But anyway, I digress. That changed my cabinet completely, okay? I love going underneath there, and I love to keep it organized because it's pretty. Add some lights under your cabinets and make them pretty too. And then you can add lighting underneath your kitchen cabinets because that is gonna also bring in that very illuminated design like you will see in a home. Not to mention, if you are prepping food, you're gonna be able to see a lot better because it is, you know, it's lit up. But don't just stop there, put lights everywhere, you know? It makes a difference and it's so inexpensive. So just put lights everywhere. If you have old mirrors that are chipped, that look very worn out, especially around the corners, add electrical tape. It makes the biggest difference. And if you do it in a really thin manner, it almost looks like a black iron frame, which is very modern and very, very in and on trend. But something as simple as 50 cent electrical tape can definitely upgrade your bathroom. And I get so excited when you all send me pictures of how you did it and how it turned out for you. Like this subby did here. I think it is the difference between night and day. And you don't even have to spend one dollar. Now that is a major upgrade because right now you can't really do anything for less than a dollar. The dollar store is not even a dollar store no more. So try to tack out like today. And then next, add wall molding in any room. Simply by going to the hardware store, you can purchase wall molding for like $6. And I found this tool on Amazon that allows you to cut the molding down long as it's thin and you can apply it with double-sided stick tape or with command strips and it is thebomb.com, okay? I freaking love this. I'm gonna have a more detailed video coming out soon, but when I tell you it is a game changer, it is a game changer. <laughs> no, seriously. Miter Shears made this project so easy and fun, but don't shy away from decorating your walls with textural design just because you're a renter. And then you know I was gonna say, peel and stick and contact paper, whatever you can. Whether it is your walls or your countertops, inside of your cabinets, furniture, all of that, yeah. If you need some design and it's too flat, wallpaper, contact paper is your best friend. Do not count it out. I have transformed so many things using it. And then update your hardware. It is the easiest thing to do. If you have ugly cabinets that your apartment came with, or if you buy furniture that does not look design worthy or you know luxurious, simply by adding new hardware to that same furniture, you're gonna give it a new look and it's gonna be unique to you. So always, always, always upgrade your hardware. And I like to buy hardware from Ikea, mainly the as is section because it's usually on sale, and Home Goods because it's usually on sale as well, and Amazon. Those are my three places that I like to hit up, and I usually find a good deal. Yeah, next time you're in either one of those, definitely 
check out the hardware. Even if you don't have a reason to use it, buy it anyway, because once you find something, you'll be like, oh, I have some hardware to go with that. Like I did with this little inexpensive dresser that I got for my closet, because I told you guys in this video that I still had plastic drawers, which I shamed it. So I switched that out. I pulled out that old plastic drawer and I replaced it with something that was nice and functional and made the space look really, really put together, which I have to share with you soon. And then my next tip is to make sure that you add DIY built-ins to any space in your apartment. I say this all the time. The main problem that most renters have and why we think we need a bigger house and more square footage that we have to pay more money for, especially if you become a homeowner and more taxes on is because we do not know how to maximize the space that we already own. So having DIY built-ins and creating good storage solutions is something that you definitely need to master, especially in an apartment. It is going to upgrade your space tremendously. I have done this in my dining room. I have done this in my bedroom. I've also done this in my bathroom. You have to maximize your vertical space. You have to create DIY built-ins. It makes your place look put together. It fits, it's functional, and it's fabulous. Make sure you have some type of DIY built in in your space and you're definitely going to start to curate that lived in look, but it's still temporary. You are gonna take your stuff with you when you leave because no matter where you live, you're probably gonna need good storage solutions. And then I'm gonna throw in a bonus for you. Are you ready for it? And the bonus is if you can, with your landlord's permission, if you have a old outdated sink and you cook a lot, change out your faucet. It is like one of the number one reasons why most people think that their kitchens are outdated. Changing out your faucet to something that is more functional makes cooking a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable and it makes your kitchen look more aesthetically pleasing. Not to mention you also want to change out your shower head too. I did this in 2019 and when I tell you I am in love with this little $8 shower head that I, that I put in my bathroom, it has multiple molds, it can give me mist when I'm washing my face which feels almost like a spa treatment or I can turn it on very forcefully and I can get my hair clean a lot faster because the water is shooting down so fast I literally feel like it's kind of like massaging my scalp or like just breaking loose you know the dirt and the dandruff and stuff like that so having a really good shower head and having a really good sink faucet for your kitchen is a major upgrade okay major upgrade and I gave those as bonuses because they're not as easy to do but I'm telling you, when you start looking at luxury versus non-luxury, those little things make a big difference. So I hope this video helped you. I hope that you try at least one of these and let me know in the comment section if you have tried one because I've shared these with you before, but in order for you to get all of them in once, you have to watch all those videos. So I said, why not put it all in one? All right. Don't forget to check out more videos on this channel because I love to find the solutions to your rental problems. And if you're not already following me on TikTok, then make sure you follow me. And if you need any type of design assistance, then make sure you check out my website at www.waynaworld.com where you can schedule consultations with me, join my course or buy my ebook or just watch more videos. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget, be you, be beautiful, be chic on a budget, and I will see you on my next upload. Later, boo.